Kerala, the God's own country. Trivandrum is the capital city of Kerala. This city provides livelihood for several lakhs of people. In the middle of this polluted cityscape, there is a place where biodiversity learned to live in hand with humans. Come, let's go for a treasure hunt. This is the Kerala University campus, Kariyavattam. The campus has 42 departments spreading in 352 acres of land in the capital city, Trivandrum. Out of the 352 acres, around 60% of land still remains to have thick vegetation. This campus has two marshes, two sacred groves and one stream. There's a lot of acacia trees spreading across the campus and there's a story behind each of those trees. These trees were planted in the 1990s by clearing the natural flora of the area which was a government funded project took place under the guidance of social forestry department. These plants evaporate a lot of water and make the soil dry. Also its leaves make a thick covering on the ground, making it unhabitable for other plants. Its pollen is very allergic also. Even though the natural vegetation was removed, some warriors in the natural vegetation were able to come back and fight against this alien plant. They couldn't succeed everywhere, but in some habitats near the marshy area, they were able to succeed and defeat these acacia plants. In such areas, these acacia plants remain as a submissive species. From 1990s to 2020, this fight was going on and the ecosystem was getting stronger. The marshy area and the natural vegetation around its transition zone supports the biodiversity. In the areas away from the marshy land, acacia still remains as a problem. During the study period of last two years, we were able to record 93 species of birds which include 5 winter migrants and 13 local migrants. Also, 9 species of snakes, 8 species of frogs, 48 species of odonates, 105 species of butterflies and 9 species of mammals were also recorded from this small green patch in the capital city of Kerala.
but there was a twist by the university authorities they actually decided to clear the entire area which had acacia so rapidly that no species could actually move to anywhere see this is what they are saying yes there is no natural vegetation okay this is not natural vegetation this is acacia as they say huh they clear the entire area including the natural vegetation and they plow the entire area using earth movers and they are planning to plant some fruiting varieties also in another project the marsh land which acted as the supporting system is now converted to a paddy field in order to promote agriculture this area is located on a higher land than the nearby city karakutam so the marshy areas of this land act as a water reservoir in the end what happened is that the areas with acacia were cleared rapidly with complete undergrowth and the marsh which acted as a supporting system for the natural flora and fauna is now converted to a farmland the acacia trees should have been removed but the way of doing it was different if selective cutting was done we could have preserved the natural vegetation and the biodiversity can still persist in the middle of the city the people who conduct international seminars on conservation and protection is actually doing this so only us the common people can act against this together we can